Now I want to bring you some live pictures from Seoul, South Korea, where doctors are taking strike action today to protest the government's health care reform program. The government intends to increase medical school admissions by 2,000 places per year, saying it's necessary to address a severe doctor shortage. However, groups representing doctors argue the government should instead prioritise better pay and working conditions. Well, we can now speak to our reporter in Seoul, Rachel Lee. So, Rachel, we have the, pro the doctors still out protesting. What have they said about the government's order for them to return to work? Right. So um, South Korea's biggest lobby group for doctors announced a one day nationwide walkout today for Tuesday. The Korean Medical Association says about um, 20,000 doctors are planning to gather near parliament in Seoul starting just about an hour ago around 2 p.m. local time for the protest. Now, according to South Korea's health minister, about 4% of the 36,000 private clinics have told the government that they'll be closed on Tuesday to join the protest. Now, this is happening after more than half of the medical professors at Seoul National University Hospital started an indefinite strike on Monday. Other university-affiliated hospitals are expected to join the movement in the coming days. And Rachel, this strike has lasted several months now. Uh, what's the reason behind it and why is it lasting so long? Right. So now we're entering the four months into the doctor's strike in South Korea. And this all started with trainee doctors protesting the government's plan to increase the number of students admitted to medical school each year, starting in 2025. And um, this, plan, this plan was put in place to address the shortage of doctors in especially um, countryside areas and the growing demand for medical services due to South Korea's rapidly aging population. The doctors are now asking asking for the government to completely cancel all of these medical reforms, arguing that their pay and working conditions um, should be the priority rather than just increasing the quota of physicians. And they also say that simply having more doctors isn't going to do much support um, essential medical sectors. And uh, Rachel, believe that most South Koreans are against this strike. Why is that? Uh, right. As you uh, said, uh, South Koreans are, uh, I mean, the negative atmosphere is dominant in South Korea. Um, if you just look at the survey that recently took place, um, nearly eight in 10 South Koreans oppose the doctor's strike. This is mainly because the doctor's strike can actually um, interrupt the medical services that's happening in South Korea. And uh, South Korea actually has among the fewest doctors per capita of all developed countries and has not increased the number of medical students in more than two decades, which is why people are, um, are asking for the inc increase in medical um, school quota. Rachel Lee, thank you. That's the BBC's Rachel Lee in Seoul there. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News.